Hey, Divine Feminine. I am Luna Ray, the Gorgeous Oracle, and I am here to do your Divine Feminine reading. Before we get into the reading, can you please like, share, and subscribe to my channel? Can you follow me on Instagram at I am underscore Justine Nicole? Everything will be down in the description box below this reading. I heard why you didn't get on live. Somebody going to, y'all going to wonder why I didn't do this video on live. Sometimes I be, I be distracted. <laughs> y'all be distracted me. So that's why I'm not doing this video on live. But, um, and yes, personal readings are available. Because somebody's going to want to know. I heard after watching this Divine Feminine reading, are personal readings available? Yes, they are. So let's jump into it. Spirit, what messages do you have for a divine feminine? I heard I'm coming home to you. That's for somebody. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. I channel. That's how somebody feel. Girl. Spirit women, she's even half a divine feminine. I want to pull this one. This one. This one. And this one. Divine feminine. Ooh. Ooh, my ear itching. Hold on, let me exit this out. Okay. So, Divine Feminine. I have the star. Death. The Eight of Swords. With the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune with... The chariot at the bottom of the deck. Oh, all these major arcanas. Divine Feminine, I have Aquarius, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, um, Taurus, Leo, Cancer. Oh, my ill, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Make sure the boobies. Okay. So, Divine Feminine, something is over Divine Feminine, but ooh, the energy I'm picking up on, this not true Divine Feminine. Somebody about to go through like a, maybe a mental breakdown. I heard this is too much. Somebody get... I heard for fucking with you. Divine Feminine, somebody about to suffer like a mental breakdown. I heard traumatic experience. This is like a traumatic experience for one group of y'all. I, I don't feel like this is you. Did another group of y'all. Divine Feminine, this is how you can feel. Whatever you've been going through, you just feel like, you know, I heard, why me? Something in your life, you, you just feel like this has been like a traumatic experience for me. Somebody feel this way. Either you, Divine Feminine, or, you know, somebody that you know of. Somebody that you know. Somebody just feel like, you know, why this keep happening to me, or... I heard why people keep fucking with me. Why people keep bothering me. But whatever this cycle, whatever this is, this is this is over. Like with people bothering you or messing with you. Whoever this is, divine feminine. It's over for these people or a person. Because I do have the death card out here. Somebody could be passing away as well. Somebody gonna pass away. I don't know who this is. 
somebody could pass away in Scorpio season. Or somebody you know, you're going to find some information out in Scorpio season about, um, it could be about an Aquarius Libra Gemini. Somebody going to pass away. Or somebody going to be exposed in Scorpio season. I heard real bad. You're going to find some information out about somebody in Scorpio season. This going to be real bad. Or somebody going to lose their mind. Somebody going to lose their mind in Scorpio season. That's for somebody divine feminine. Somebody about to be humbled. Whoever did for another, this like a whole nother message. Whoever this is, divine feminine, this person got, thought they was almighty. End all, be all. Like this person thought they was almighty themselves. This could happen in Scorpio season to this person. Because I have the, the star with the death. Another message I'm getting, a celebrity may pass away in, um, in Scorpio season. A female may pass away in Scorpio season. This could be a celebrity. This is going to be true. Whatever this is going to, whatever going to pop off in Scorpio season, whoever this celebrity is, it's going to be tragic. It's going to be tragic because whoever this celebrity is that's going to pass away was nobody expecting this. And whoever this celebrity is, they were liked and loved by many. This gonna be this could be like a white female. They're gonna be like, I heard an actor or an actress. But whoever this person is in Scorpio season, they're gonna pass away. Something, I'm getting like something tragic is gonna happen to them. One of the reasons why it could be popping up in this divine feminine reading, because you could like this person. Somebody's like a good actor, an actress, or this could be somebody you looked up to or thought was pretty or handsome. That somebody, whoever this person is in the spotlight, the vibe feminine, this person could have been like one of your favorite people. So that's one story. And then another story, divine feminine. If this person, if you know this person, I heard in real life, and if this person thought they were so much better than you and stuff like that. Something tragic is going to happen to this person in Scorpio season. To where they going to, this person going to lose their mind. I heard to where they own family not going to be fucking with this person. They own family going to think like, yeah, something is wrong with them for real. Even look at, look at how they talk. When they start talking this way, when they start behaving this way. I heard fake, phony, people, <laughs> people, whoever this person is, whoever this person thought, thought they was God Almighty themselves, I heard they reign gonna come to an end. They reign gonna come to an end. I heard actually this person reign has always been over, but in like other people's eyes, or maybe like they, they family, I'm getting like people already didn't like this person. I heard close proximity. Yeah, because I'm getting like people from afar didn't like this person. But in Scorpio season, I heard, yeah, something wrong with you for real. Even they family not going to want shit to do with this person, Divine Feminine. I heard in regards to you. I just heard that. And Divine Feminine, why these people going through, I heard Judgment Day. I just heard that. Wheel of Fortune. This Wheel of Fortune been coming out a lot for um, the readings I've been doing. This Wheel of Fortune been coming out a lot. To where whatever this abundance is, Divine Feminine, y'all going to even relocate. Y'all going to pick up and move. Somebody gonna even somebody about to receive so much money to where you gonna even think about breaking your lease or breaking some kind. Of, you gonna think about buying yourself out this contract or buying yourself out this lease and you gonna move. 
I heard move to another city. Y'all gonna even start thinking like, I got so many blessings and abundance right now to where you gonna have the, the money and the means and the resources to pack up and move to another city if you want to. I heard me. Divine Feminine, embrace yourself because I feel like it's gonna be a whole bunch of, I heard turns of unexpected events. It's going to be a whole bunch of, like, unexpected events hitting you back to back to back. Because I do feel as though you're going to get some type of abundance, and then you're going to start meeting people. You may even meet, <laughs> this is for somebody, you may even meet your best friend. Divine Feminine, your best friend that you're going to meet, you're going to meet a Scorpio. Your, your new best friend, they're going to be... A Scorpio, Aquarius, a Taurus, or a Leo. And y'all gonna hit it off. They could have the letters T-A-R-O-I. Yeah, they can have those letters in their name. Yeah, because I feel like Divine Feminine, you about to, because I've been picking up abundance lately, and in this Divine Feminine read, I feel like you going to even meet a friend. Divine Feminine, you going <laughs> to, I'm telling you, it's going to be so much shit hitting you all at once to where you going to, um, I heard attract. You going to attract a friend. For some of y'all, I heard a new friend group. You even going to attract a new friend group. And your new friend group, they're going to be all these zodiac signs I called out. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. And <laughs> Divine Feminine, you even going to like how your new friend group dress or something. Divine Feminine, if you meet like a whole new friend group, y'all all, all going to compliment each other. And if this is not a friend group, I heard, okay, Divine Feminine, you gonna meet, you gonna meet a female, and they gonna introduce you to their friends. I heard sisterhood, and when you meet they other friends, I heard they gonna think you weird at first. They gonna think you weird at first. I heard, and standoffish. I heard they not like that. I feel like your new friend gonna be, <laughs> they gonna be taking up for you. They gonna, they gonna say, like, they cool. And I heard once you come around more, y'all gonna have like a sisterhood. I heard your soul, Divine Feminine, you about to meet like your new soul tribe. Or your new soul family or something. And then Divine Feminine, I heard, and these new people, they gonna be on your level. The way they carry themselves, the way they think, the way they, they dress, the type of things they into. I heard you gonna fuck with it. You gonna fuck with <laughs> you gonna fuck with what they into, but whoever whoever you're gonna meet, I do. I'm picking up like they do have their own friend group, and they've been knowing these these females for a while, for a long time. But with, with you, divine feminine, it's it, I heard it's just something about you. It's gonna be something about you to where. Your new friend going to be confining into you. I heard, and they just met you. And they going to be telling you, like, they personal business, they secrets and everything to where they going to, I heard, they going to start calling you their best friend first. And this is some more tea. They other friends, they other friends going to feel some type of way that they consider you as your, as their best friend. And I heard, but you just met them. But, with they other with they other friends, they gonna accept you too. They gonna like you too. They all gonna like you. And I heard y'all all gonna have each other numbers. I heard travel. Y'all gonna be traveling together and everything. I do have the chariot at the bottom of the deck. Y'all gonna be doing all types of stuff with each other. And then divine feminine, I do feel like it's gonna be a new person coming in. Like you gonna meet a new friend in a new friend group. And then you're going to start dating somebody new as well. And this person that's coming in, they're going to be they gonna be different like you as well. I heard that's why they're so attracted to you. They know you different. 
I heard waiting to meet you. When you and this lover, when y'all come together, when y'all meet, because I'm picking up a new person. With this new person, they're going to feel like, damn, where have you been all my life? Because this, this new person, they're going to feel like you so amazing and you compliment them. Divine Feminine. I'm getting... You're going to have like two different suitors. And I feel like they... These these two men, they're going to come in at the same time. Or around the same time. And I feel like they both going to like you. And Divine Feminine, you're going to have to choose who you want to be with. <laughs> these two men that's coming in to you... They both have children, Divine Feminine. Um, it could be an Aries man, but it don't have to be. Somebody's very like fiery and passionate. When they when this when one of these men come in, they're gonna be like fiery and passionate about you. Like fire and desire, right? Whoever this man is, they could they could have children. And then it's another man out here. But, who, okay, you got two suitors that's going to, they both going to come in at the same time. I heard write you on Instagram. One of these men going to write you on Instagram or Facebook. They going to slide in your DMs on one of these social media sites if you're active on social media. One of these men, their children are older. And then the other man, their child is like a toddler. Maybe between the ages of two and three. One of these men, they're going to want you to meet their they child or children. They're going to want you to meet their child or children. One of them, off the bat, they're going to want you to meet their kids or a child. And then the other man with the toddler... That's between the ages of like maybe two or three, maybe four. That one, they're going to say like, okay, we I'm going to wait. I heard to see if this is the one. As in you, Divine Feminine. They're going to wait to bring their toddler around you. I heard because they don't want to just bring their toddler around everybody. I heard serious. Both of these men are serious. And they both feel like, you know, I want something real. And they're going to want something real and serious with you divine feminine but it's gonna be you gonna have you have to make a wise decision because i feel like both men like how both men gonna come towards you one of these men they gonna want to rush but the reason why they rushing because they i heard take you off the market they really want to take you off the market that's why they rushing and then the other man they want to take you off the market as well but with them they want to take their time <laughs> they want to take their time with you divine feminine that's some tea so divine feminine some more tea right um one of these men They could be, one of them could be like single and then the other one could be getting out of a relationship. Divine Feminine, um, this could be your Divine Masculine or this is just a masculine. But I'm going to throw this out here because I do have the Hierophant with the Ten of Wands with the Death. Divine Feminine, somebody, if Divine Feminine, if you do Tarot, this is a small group of y'all. If y'all do Tarot, somebody want to charge you up. I'm getting like a female. A female want to charge you up. 
I heard why they keep talking about me. Divine Feminine, if you do tarot, it's a female out here. They be watching you and they just want to know, like, what is it about them that you... <laughs> they feel like, Divine Feminine, if you do tarot, they feel as though you purposely keep talking about them. But this person... It's not that you keep talking about them. It's just that whatever you say in your readings, it resonates with this person. But they going to try to flip it and say, like, why you keep talking about me? I heard on your YouTube channel, why you keep talking about me on your YouTube channel? But really, Divine Feminine, these people, they just, this person, they, just, they, just, they resonate with the things you say. I heard because it's true. And Divine Feminine... If you do tarot, I have the hard fun, the ten of wands with the death. I heard embarrassing. The thing, the vibe feminine, the things you pick up in your tarot readings, this person feels so embarrassed. When I tell you they feel so embarrassed. <laughs> this person, they feel so embarrassed by, like, this is a small group of y'all if y'all do tarot. The things a person been saying or a tarot reader been saying they like whoa i heard that's terrible but the t is that this person they resonate with whatever you're saying or whatever a tarot reader is saying on youtube i heard they resonate with all of it so where this person they gon' they gon' they gon' charge you up. And they and this person feel like you purposely I heard putting these videos out and saying these type of things to humiliate them. That's how this person feel. But the tea with them is that I heard they really hurt me. This person somebody is really hurt by what a tarot reader is saying on YouTube, Divine Feminine. I don't know uh, <laughs> if this is a karmic or I don't know if you do tarot. I don't know if this person watching like other tarot readers and they want to cuss the, cuss the other readers out by the things they picking up on. I heard why book a personal reading when they airing out my my business on, on YouTube. That's how this person feel. And the things you say infuriates this person because it's true. And I heard, and how would they know that? Another mess I'm getting, if you do tarot, and if somebody, I heard an angry fan end up, like, charging you up, deep down, they know, like, you you really not trying to talk about them. Deep down, they know this. I heard, because they, they see your cards or something, or you show the cards or something. So, they, deep down, this person know, like, you not trying to attack them or put their business out but it's it's i heard it's frustrating and annoying that whatever you pick up in your readings about this person it frustrates it frustrates them because it resonates with them i heard all the horrible shit and this person they really feel bad hearing this information about the come from another person's mouth that's the realty i heard see look they keep talking about me and this is uh, divine feminine this is some more tea right whoever this person is they so stupid this is a small group of y'all if y'all do tarot like a small group if y'all do tarot they go back and show show your videos or they do this person do something in regards to your videos but they it's like they running back telling other people like they keep talking about me right and these people they saying like okay so what did divine feminine say you know what they saying i heard send me the video show me the video and this person they will go back and send this video to whoever they talking to about you divine feminine right and these people will look at this video. I said, ooh, that, I heard, ooh, that is horrible. I heard, wow. But the T is that these people, I heard they on your side, Divine Feminine, because they these people, 
that a, maybe a karmic is complaining on you too, they feel like, okay, this is what tarot readers do. You know, tarot readers, you know, they they pull cards. They, you know, they, they tell people business. You know, this is what tarot readers do. And the, the things these people hear a divine feminist say in her readings, it's like a karmic is putting people in her business. That's the tea. And the the people that a karmic is complaining on YouTube, when they hear these videos, they like, ooh. <laughs> I heard this is a, I heard, wow. But they not saying this about you, Divine Feminine. They judge, I heard judging, they judging the karmic. I heard, I didn't know, you know, this was going on in your relationship or, you know, your person was treating you this way and you was doing this for your person, get taken advantage of. So the people, they running their mouth to, that's helping the people look at them in a different light because of what a tarot reader is saying. And then these people, like if a karmic or some female they quick to show your videos to other people, but they quick to show your videos like, yeah, they keep talking about me. They obsessed with me, right? But when these people, I heard these fighting words. Okay, but look, check this out. These people that a karmic or a female was seeing your videos to, I'm talking about a small portion of y'all, if y'all do tarot readings, right? These people will watch these videos because a karmic or a female saying like, yeah, divine feminine, they keep talking about me. They keep, I heard they keep uploading stuff about me, right? And how these people feel, they feel like, damn, I heard this is juicy. This is wild. And you saying this is about you? I heard I wouldn't even be telling people this is about me because this is embarrassing. <laughs> A, a karmic's friend or family members feel and the family members or they or a karmic's friend how they feel they feel like i wouldn't even be telling people like this information is about me i heard this is not cool and it's like a karmic is just digging or this female they digging themselves in like a deeper hole because they just want to tell, like, how Karmic is trying to paint this picture. Like, yeah, they keep they keep making videos about me. Um, They jealous. They obsessed with me, right? But when these people listen to these videos, I heard, send me the videos. And I heard all the shit be so... <laughs> I heard, I heard, damn, this is about you? I heard, why? I didn't even know you was going through this. So a karmic, you know, or this female, whoever this is, they, you know, they just, they just making themselves look bad. Because tarot readers, including myself, we don't say people names. We just, we just say what the cards say, right? And for a karmic to say they talking about me, that means they claiming this reading, right? So how people feel. Whoever they run and tell this information to, they like, you claim, you saying this is about you, but this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. I wouldn't tell nobody this is about me. I heard, I would have said, I don't know what they talking about. But the T is that I don't even think. The people are saying this to this female or a or a karmic. This is what these people are thinking. Whether if it's their friends or family, they like, I wouldn't even be telling nobody this. And then how they feel, they feel like I wouldn't even be watching tarot readers anyway. What you watching tarot readers anyway? So it's like with this death card out here, I heard this person's reputation is over. That's for somebody. That's for somebody. Another message I'm getting, if you starting your own YouTube channel or platform, if things been kind of difficult or kind of hard, maybe to get your um, followers up, your subscribers up, or I heard to get monetized, 
or to get views. With this death card out here, this is over too. You about to start, you about to see like a whole new change um, within your subscriber count, your views, your monetize. You about to start, if you already monetized with this Wheel of Fortune and the Sun, you about to start making even more money. And then if you haven't been monetized yet, or if you haven't got enough view, views yet, it's about it's coming. I heard Scorpio season. Scorpio season, you're going to see a major, major improvement on your, your YouTube channel, platform, whatever social media sites you're trying to get monetized on. You're going to see like a difference in it. You're going to see, you're going to be able to get monetized. You're going to, I heard, um, you're going to have even more traffic coming to your YouTube channel. Or like whatever social media sites you're on, you're going to have more traffic coming to your, uh, your platforms. That's for somebody. Another message, Divine Feminine. Now, this is who I'm about to get ready to talk about. This is a karmic. Because the, the person that's watching videos and talking about a tarot reader, that's either about a karmic or like a female. Maybe like an old friend. I heard maybe like one of your family members or something. But this, this role that I'm looking at, this is about a karmic. This person... Because I have the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, with the Eight of Swords. This person about to lose their mind. Another mess I'm getting, whoever this karmic is, they're going to either go to physical jail or spiritual jail or both. Something going to happen because I'm getting like something traumatic. Something traumatic and dramatic going to happen to this person to where... They gonna lose everything within a blink of an eye, cause it's gonna happen so fast for them. It's gonna happen so fast for them. I heard transported. I, I with this uh chariot card out here, wherever this karmic is, that's gonna go to jail. They gonna even get transported. To like maybe another facility or they going like they gonna get locked up to where maybe they're gonna be in a holding cell and then they're gonna transport them to like go upstairs like somebody gonna be like in a county jail they're gonna do some time maybe i'm getting like maybe seven to eight weeks in jail they're gonna do some time they're going to lose their mind in jail. Divine Feminine, I heard for fucking with you. I don't know what this is, but I just heard that. This person, they're going to go to jail, and they're going to go to, like, a county jail or something, and they going to, I heard jumpsuit. They, this person, they're going to they gonna put them in a holding tank or a holding cell. And when they call this person name, this person gonna think they about to walk out of jail. I heard post bond. This person gonna think, okay, I'm leaving because I posted bond, right? When this person get up thinking they about to walk out because they posted bond, they gonna get transported like upstairs or something in like this county jail. Somebody gonna go to jail. Somebody's going to, I just heard this, I don't know where y'all stay at, but somebody going to Harris County. Somebody going to the, the county jail. And another message I'm getting, if they don't get transported upstairs in the county, they gonna, they gonna go to like another, like another jail. Like in a, uh, in another county. Somebody's going to go to, like, two different facilities. Another mess I'm getting, this person, they're going to go to, they're going to get transported a few times, right? They're going to be in the, the holding cell. Then they're going to transport this person upstairs the way they're going to get a jumpsuit and everything, right? 
And they probably gonna do two or three weeks in that jail. And then that's when this person gonna, gonna is they gonna think like it's time served or they post their bond or something, right? Another mess this person, they bond gonna get denied. And once they bond get denied, they gonna do like two or three weeks at one jail. And when they call this person name, they're going to think, okay, yes, I'm getting out of here. They're going to, I heard put handcuffs. They're going to put handcuffs on this person and take them to another county. And they're going to do like another three, four weeks at that place too. This person, they're going to be gone between seven to eight weeks. They're going to be gone. I heard in regards to divine feminine fucking with I don't know what this person did divine feminine but this person gonna get caught up to where they they going to jail and I heard ain't nothing that they can do about it ain't nothing <laughs> this person that it, it's nothing that they can do about it when I say nothing I mean nothing and this person they gonna be trying to call I heard a divine masculine they gonna be trying to call a divine masculine to like bond them out. And yeah, they bond. They just they bond gonna be denied. They be they gonna be calling a a divine masculine from jail. And um, some of these occasions, this divine masculine not gonna answer the phone. I heard purposely. And then when the divine masculine finally do answer the phone, they gonna say, "Can you post my bond and all types of stuff?" Right. And when the divine masculine try to post their bond. It's gonna get denied. I heard you gonna pay for your crimes. A karmic out here, they did something. I don't know what they did, but whatever they did, I heard coming to an end. It's gonna come to an end for this person. Somebody need to count their days. <laughs> like <laughs> no bullshit. Somebody need to count their days. Another mess I'm getting, somebody could be having the time in their life right now. But they're, I, I'm getting like somebody days are numbered. Because they're going to go to jail. And this going to be like a traumatic experience for this person to where they're going to lose their mind in jail. They're going to lose their mind. Because whatever this is, I feel like this person never experienced no shit like this before. I heard, I heard shit got real. To where... Whatever crimes or whatever this person did, they family going to find out about it. I heard word going to travel about this person being locked up. Somehow, someway, it's going to get, it's going to get leaked. Or this part, bitch, this some more tea. Divine Feminine, this karmic, they mug shot going to get leaked. They mug shot going to get leaked or... They family and friends gonna find this information out that they friend in jail or that they family member in jail. And the tea is that this karmic, they gonna even lie to their family and friends why they in jail. But when but when it's time like when this karmic wanna try to post bond or something, that's how they family gonna find out what they really did. I heard Oh my God! Oh, I, bitch! When I tell you, they family gonna be like, I heard disgusted. They gonna, I don't know what this karmic did, but they did something they had no business doing. To where they even gonna, they gonna still be trying to lie out this, lie their way out this situation. To where they not gonna tell their friends and family what they did to go to jail. But when they friends and family. When they call, I heard call the bells bond. Or when they friends and family look this person up, they gonna see what this person was charged with. I heard prosecutor. Like this person, they gonna go to, they gonna go to trial and every motherfucking thing. When I say, bitch, this gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad to where 
they family and friends, they whoever this person is, they might as well come clean right now to their family and friends. Whoever this karmic is, they might as well come clean right now. Because it's going to be even worse when their family and friends find this information out. I heard in others. And I do feel as though this person mugshot going to be, I heard, released to the public. It, they they mugshot, but when I say release to the public, I mean like social media or something. Like <coughs> they mugshot gonna be like floating around the internet. I heard in what they was charged with. Somebody, <coughs> somebody, bitch. When I tell, I heard T page. This person gonna even make it to the T page. They picture and they mugshot and they mugshot. This person gonna be ugly as fuck and they mugshot. This person, they gonna be crying and everything. It's gonna be in a mugshot. And that's gonna get passed around. That's gonna get talked about. And they family and friends, they gonna be passing this information around as well. Like when I tell you everybody gonna know what this person with the jail for. I keep hearing in regards to a divine feminine. This person, divine feminine karma could have tried to set you up. And something going to happen to where you going to be found not guilty and this person going to be found guilty. And the T is that um, the district attorney office, prosecutors, everybody, they, they got more than enough evidence on this person. And divine feminine, they ain't gonna, they not gonna have. I don't know what this is, but they not gonna have no evidence of you. And they gonna feel like, okay, I heard frame. Divine feminine, a karma tried to frame you for something. They tried to frame you for something, and I heard under surveillance. And divine feminine, you could have been under surveillance for a long time and had no idea this was going on. I heard your bank accounts and everything, but how? The police feel, I heard you innocent. You innocent. Somebody did, somebody could have did some type of bank fraud, bank scam. And they could have, it's something about like, they was doing a bank fraud and bank scam, but they could have been using your name or something. Or they could have been saying like, yeah, it's Divine Feminine doing this. Or this person, I'm getting like this person, this some more tea. Divine Feminine, somebody could have been opening up, like, accounts, doing fraud, and I'm getting like they will walk in a bank and tell the, the bank tellers, like, yeah, my name is Divine Feminine, right? Divine Feminine, say if your name is, like, Ashley Carter, right, for example, a karmic will walk in, like, buildings or banks or something, and say, yeah, my name is my name is Ashley Carter, aka Divine Feminine. I heard fake ID. Somebody had like a fake ID, and Divine Feminine, they will have your name on this fake ID with their picture. And some more tea. I heard copy and paste or making copies and scanning. The, the the police officers, when they did their own investigation, that's how this person going to get caught up because when they did their own investigation, because I'm getting like faxing, somebody could have faxed over like they, they driver's license or something, but it's a fake, it's going to be like a fake driver's license with, their, with a karmic picture, but with Divine Feminine name on it. And Divine Feminine, you even, this some more tea, this person even have like a fake social security number with your name in it and, with, and everything, right? So, I don't know what this is. I'm getting like, maybe something, that, it has something to do with mortgage, like mortgage fraud, car loans or something, bitch, business loans, all types of stuff this person took out in your name. Another message I'm getting, if y'all, it, it's weird, but I'm about to tell y'all this. If y'all credit score decreased, it was because of what this karmic was doing in your name. But something gonna happen to where when the police officers did their own investigation, 
they got like a the police officers they got they own they got a copy of like this person's paperwork bitch when i tell you this chronicles even signing like they was even signing your name on this paperwork signing your name and everything in i heard compare signatures the police officers the investigators whoever i heard working on this case they uh pulled up Yo, yo, real signature, and then they pulled up the karmic signature that they forged from you. That's evidence right there that the signatures are different. And then they gonna obtain like a copy of like a, a driver's license or something with the karmic picture on there, but with divine feminine information. Divine Feminine, this karmic even used your old address before. I don't know how they got your old address, but they did. But the T is that whoever's working on this case, I heard they was trying to, this, whoever working on this case, this person won't even feel like, I believe they was trying to frame Divine Feminine. Because I heard purchases, whatever this person was doing, their purchases was so outrageous to where it was like they was doing stuff because they didn't care to get caught or they, you know... It was like they was making some of like the most outrageous purchases or just like being so careless under your information to where it was like a paper trail and that paper trail was supposed to come back to you divine feminine right it was supposed to come back to it, yeah i don't know what i'm talking about but this paper trail was supposed to come back to you and i heard red flags so when the police officers did they own digging, I heard they innocent. I believe they innocent. And I believe in how the police officers feel. The, pol the police officers even feel like divine feminine. You don't even know this karmic. That's how the police officers feel. But yeah, this person, they gonna be, they gonna be found guilty. I heard on all charges, on all accounts. This person gonna be found guilty. So Divine Feminine, remember I said you gonna have two men to choose from. One of these men, they could be your divine masculine, and then this other man, they're going to be your soulmate. So you're going to have to choose wisely, even if you, you know, but I feel like you're going to have an option. Like, if you want, if you, if you don't even want your divine masculine back, you don't even have to take him back. I heard for what? Because you're going to even have a soulmate that's going to treat you even better than your divine masculine. And with this temperance card out here, yeah, I'm getting like this person, they're going to get their they karma. What they put out is what they're going to get back. And it's going to be even worse. Because this person feel like they was, I heard, getting away with murder, for real. By like put, putting stuff in your name, signing your signature, using your address. I heard even talking like you as well. All this shit about to be exposed. I heard it did already. Well, I heard three, this shit could have popped out three months ago. I feel like the police, they just, you, I heard like keeping tabs on transactions and stuff. Cause I, I'm getting like, they, they trying to wait to get even more evidence of this person. Of this karmic. The police been following this karmic around and everything. I'm getting pictures. Somebody taking pictures of a bitch. When I tell you this person about to go down. Some more tea. This person, they going to do either. They going to do either seven or eight weeks in jail. Or seven to eight months. Maximum seven to eight years. But I don't think this person going to do seven to eight years. I heard mental, I feel like they mama or father gonna say they, my my daughter got like a mental disorder, something wrong with them for real. 
to where the the judge or the prosecutors they gonna show this person a little bit um a little mercy but this person they about to get embarrassed straight up and i don't know how long y'all been in my y'all been oh i'm thinking i'm on live because i'm about to say i don't know how long y'all been in my in my reading but i'm not on live Remember I said it's a, a karmic or a female feel like you purposely talking about them with this devil card and the higher fund. Yeah, I feel like they purposely feel like you talking about them if you were a tarot reader. That's like a small group of y'all. But yeah, somebody need to count their days. Because the shit about to get real for this person to where ain't no turning back. Like they can't backtrack and you know... <laughs> Cause I, I'm getting like it's 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 evidence the prosecutors have. I heard more than enough evidence of this person. But thank you. Bye bye.